Good morning. Hi. Hello, everybody. How are you doing? Well, we'd like to welcome you to another edition of Storytime here from the John McIntosh Hall Library. And what we're aiming to do every morning is try to entertain you and bring you a variety of books that you can be enjoying from the comfort of your home. Now, I've chosen one here that caught my eye. It's called I Am An Artist. So are you an artist? Do you enjoy colouring in, painting, being creative? Well, I think this little boy who's going to take us on a little adventure is going to be telling us a bit of how he explores his creativity. Maybe it's something you can try at home, or maybe not. Let's have a look. I am an artist. And what can we see? Well, this little boy has actually drawn himself a moustache. Have you ever done something like that, drawn on your body? It's a way of expression, isn't it? And what has he actually used? Well, not that I'm encouraging you do this, but I think he's dipped into his mum's makeup bag. Oh, and he's also roped in his cat. He's got a pet cat, you see. <laughs> he's actually painted on him and used some fruit and other household objects. What can we see here? A mirror, some grapes, yes, a banana, and even a pencil. So he's using things around him everyday objects to be creative. So is my mum. And what can we see? We can see his mum in a dressing gown with a cup of coffee, half asleep, just woken up. And then, ta-da, a transformation in a very different way. She's used the makeup to change the way she looks, brushed her hair, used her clothes, and these are ways of expression, ways in which we can be artistic. Do you do that? Do you choose your clothes in the morning? That's a way of being artistic in a different way. Everywhere I look, I see art. That's what he's telling us. And look at him. He looks at things around his house in a very different way. The paintings on the wall, photos, even the mirror. But I don't think my mum always sees it. Now that's something to bear in mind. You can see things in a particular way and maybe those around you appreciate it slightly different. Where I see the loneliness of the carrot, my mum sees an unfinished dinner. Now we have the little boy staring at his carrot. He's looking at it as a work of art. But his mum is looking at it saying, you haven't eaten your vegetables. Is that something that happens at home? I can tell you it's something that happens in my home, but it's important to eat your vegetables if you can. Where I see a window to the world, I don't think she understands me. I think he's gone and done a little hole in the wall. Not quite sure what's happened there, but obviously, as you can appreciate, I don't think his mum's gonna be very happy if he starts vandalizing the house. But I can't stop creating. Some of my finest pieces of art this week are blue number 10. I think he's dipped one of his favourite toys in ink or coloured water. Blue number 11. He's gone and painted the chair. And blue number 12. For that last one, he's gone and painted himself blue. This one is my multiple self-portrait. Now, I wouldn't encourage you to do that, but He's gone and tackled the mirror. And I think I'll call this one Spring in Winter. So we can see here a large assortment of plants and flowers, but he's gone and created a little bit of a mess around it. I'm so talented, I just can't help it. Everything inspires me. I love nature. A rather funny little picture here. He's gone to the garden and covered himself in plants. Very creative, but very messy as well. Maybe if you're thinking of doing something like this, make sure you ask your parents before you delve into that creativity because you don't want to make too much of a mess. And colours. The world is so much fun with bright colours. What's your favourite colour? Yellow? Oh, I love yellow as well. Yellow is the colour of the sun. What about green, the colour of grass, or blue? What's blue? The sea, that's right, and the sky. There's so much colour around us. 
Have a look when you're at home. See what colours you can spot around the house. And the little boy is at it again. This time he's got him himself some hangers. And he's hanging things from the lampshade, round the house. His pet cat, I think, is running away from him. Textures. Do you know what textures are? It's the way things feel, yes. So if you touch, for example, your sofa, it will, it will feel a certain way. If you touch a pet, they'll feel another way because they're furry. It's a great way to, to, to feel. You know, if you, if you get yourself a fruit, for example, an apple, the skin might be um, shiny. But if you get a peach, it might be furrier. So this is something that's great because you can put this um, to test, as it were, around the house. See what kind of textures you can come up with. And shapes, but there's just one problem. What do you think the problem will be? My mum! Uh-oh. I think maybe something is wrong. Perhaps I haven't given her enough attention. There must be something I can do to make her feel better. She's running around, clearing up the mess. Not good. Um, she's attempting some yoga. She's trying to keep calm, doing her breathing, focusing, doing her pose. I know, says the boy. I'm going to make an amazing piece of art, especially for her. But it will need plenty of careful planning. And we can see the little boy deep in concentration there, his tongue out of his mouth as he focuses, drawing, colouring in, getting busy. I can't wait for her to wake up. Mummy's having a bit of a rest. She deserves it, I'm sure. I hope she likes it. Ta-da! Oh my! What do you think? Do you think Mummy will appreciate him? Painting on the walls, on the windows, on the mirrors, on every single piece of furniture? I'll call it Ode to My Mum. So there we have it. A little boy who's creative and enjoys art. Something that we can all explore whilst we're at home. Perhaps you can learn about the big artists, the big names, the different techniques. And I'm sure it's something you can do together with your parents, with your siblings. Get creative. You know, I always say to the kids who come to visit the galleries when we take them on tours, you know, many of them say to me, I don't know how to draw, I don't know how to paint. But art is much more than that. Being creative comes from inside. So you might, for example, play an instrument. That's being creative. You might like to use objects around the house like buttons and pasta shells and things like that which you can stick and glue and you can cut out things and you can show that creative nature in a different way. Not all of it is about drawing or colouring in. But if you're good at that as well, you know, get on with it. I'm sure you can spend some great moments all together at home being an artist and being creative. And again, we're sure to entertain you every morning from 10 o'clock here from the John McIntosh Hall Library with another great book. So see you then. Bye.